Hey, what's going on you guys? Um, I decided to make this quick video uh, on the drone modification, which really didn't require much to do. So I'll show you what's going on here. This is the stock camera that the drone came with, and I didn't know it. I mean, it looks like it's got a place for a memory card, but it doesn't. This camera does not hold an SD card. I didn't know that when I bought it. Um, you Normally you'd have to stream this to your phone and then upload from your phone, which to me, it's just a pain in the butt. So, uh, Urbexy had given me this idea a while back. or We talked about it on a live stream. So what I did here, I'm gonna pick the drone up, is my old action camera this Vivitar 917 and this uh, drone oops I got it upside down it's Vivitar as well so anyway I took my Vivitar 917 HD action camera and um, some of the GoPro accessories as you can see and it just clips and it just it just snaps into place you can snap it right in and out of there and this mounting piece has that I mean that's some super strong stuff 3M um, I guess it's 3M adhesive that's on the back of it so anyway you, know, you might wonder well the camera's upside down and yes it is um, but that little action camera has a feature where you can flip the image and use it like a dash cam I'll show you guys this here real quick. I'm going to do this one-handed. Okay, there's no card in it right now. But as you can see, well, you probably won't be able to see very good. It is, it is facing forward in the proper orientation. So that's what I did, and I've got it balanced. I haven't flown it yet. Now, how well it's going to fly, I don't know. I may have to pull it off and remount it, just depending. Hopefully, I got it right the first time, and then before, after all that's done, then I'm going to add this retaining strap to this mount as well. There's, a, there's slots on either side of it that you can run this through run this strap, retaining strap through and then lock it once you get it fitted properly and then and then lock it down so okay you guys that is the Vivitar AeroView video drone modification so let's hope that this thing performs right I'm gonna go calibrate it and give it its first test flight with this new camera so Hopefully it works out. And this is part one. I'll make a part two uh, once I learn how to fly this with this camera. Because <laughs> I'm not going to make a video of me crashing this thing. I've got to get used to it first. So, okay, you guys. Thank you for watching.